Hi. So, this is one of the videos I'm not going to edit, and this is actually my third time filming, which is kind of mean. I don't want to edit. And I think I was, in the last video, I think I nailed it, but I was like, switching topics. I mean, this, this is the same topic, but I just want things to move in a nicer fashion instead of going like, you know, instead of like switching topics and all that stuff. But my topic, the thing I want to talk about today is my Winston, it's our current Labradoodle and our first dog, Lucy, who was a boxer. Um, and obviously, they don't, the, obviously, we don't have two dogs at once. With a type of family, if we have a dog, you know, it's like a one dog type of family. Um, so, Lucy was an old dog, and then Winston's our newer dog. So, um, I was trying to come up with the list of, like, they're the same in this way, but if in this way, they have a lot more differences than the same. I think the only two things that are the same is they both have a lot of energy. They both have, they and they both live, live with us. Um, but those are the two, and there's a lot of different differences. Like, we grew up with Lucy, who never ate off the floor. Like, if you drop something on the floor, she would not eat it off the floor. I mean, it was like, we had to like, teach her how to eat off the floor. And she also had this underbite. Like, like that. Um, which was, I think, part of the issue. Or not issue, but she would like, it was harder for her to eat off the floor. Um, and Winston didn't like West vegetables. I tested this too. He hates it. Like, I like, I didn't even put it on the floor. I like, here's a like fruit. I like, here's a strawberry. Eat it. Or here's a blueberry. Eat it. Um, he won't eat, like, I think I dropped, whenever you were eating dinner one night, we had, I was eating cucumbers, and I dropped one, and we were sitting outside, it was like a nice summer day, we were eating outside, and this cucumber just fell, he was like, and I'm like, Winston, come here, come here, come, he didn't eat it, I'm like, dude, if, I, I mean, I don't know about other dogs, but. He does not like fruit for a passion. He hates it. Even if you try to give him it. Uh, so, and then another thing that's with, like, surfaces, like, hard surfaces. Lucy never had, Lucy always had trouble. He's, she, she's a very skittish. First, she's a very, she was a very skittish dog. And she's really quirky, too. Because quirkiness is, like, she won't be able to, like, she didn't, she could not sit down. Like, if you ask a dog to sit, she will not sit down on a hardwood surfaces or concrete or anything outside, like, street, concrete. That's what I meant by concrete. She won't, like, I mean, she could, she had trouble sitting on the grass, but, I mean, she was fine, like, sitting down, laying down on carpeted surfaces. Um, and then Winston's, like, so funny, it's like, He'll sometimes in the morning or every time he'll stretch his front legs and then he'll stretch his back legs and then he just plop, slump, like he's done. And I'm like that's so cute. Winston, Winston just does that. Um, and then yeah, so it's like Lucy was like, I'll lay on the couch. I'll lay on carpeted surfaces. I'll lay on anything soft and then Winston will obviously be on like any surface like um and another big difference I mean obviously the two different type of they were different they are and were different type of dogs and they have um they um Winston had we had to make a couple our house I mean we had to buy him a pen because he we we weren't that good I mean we attempted to crate tearing him but the all the 
farthest he got was when he was a little, little, like a little puppy, like 10 weeks old to like weeks old at this point because we got him at nine weeks. He literally did not like the crate. And then he grew out of the crate. He grew out from his puppy crate and then he grew out. From, and then the crate, we still have the crate for that we had with Lucy, but that crate, when he wasn't full grown, he was too small for that. I mean, it's like, it's too much space. It's too small for the big crate, but too big for the small crate. So we had to find a medium sized crate. Um, but then we, we decided that in that period of time, we couldn't find a medium sized crate because all the crates were too small or too big. Nowhere in between, so we bought a pin, like a, like a puppy play plan, or like a, a, like a puppy play plan, and I'm like, oh. so he slept there every single night downstairs, everything. I mean, right, and this is right after that he could like sleep for the night with not like waking anybody up. Yep, so Lucy never had that. Lucy also never had. So Lucy never had to be like contained in a pin at night. When she got old enough to not sleep in the crate, she she didn't have to be contained to a pin. And then obviously the pin got it all away because we like carrying something that was being like trip over or something. Um, yeah. So and Lucy never had a we currently have a puppy gate, a doggy gate. So Lucy um once this contained, Lucy never had that. She never need to be contained. So, yeah, that's the difference. Um, also, once then, we were on vacation one time. We were gone. Half of us were on vacation one time, and then half of us like stayed home. And my dad was one of the people who stayed home, and he got tired of chasing. When we taught him the chase game, don't teach your dog the chase game, because what's going to happen every single time that you want him on leash to like go outside to go to the bathroom or go on a walk go oh that he's barking out there right now oh my god what is he barking from the window's open but it sounds like he's barking from outside but he could be because he's barking outside anyways um he does like he'll he'll just play the chase game it will take like even in the house it would take like Three humans, like three humans, three of us, like me and my sister, two sisters, me and my, both my parents or whatever, three humans to catch him, to be put on a leash. He loves walks and everything. No, nothing about the walk. He just learned how to play the chase game and he thinks every single time I pull out the leash, he's like, come here. <laughs> Yay. So, yeah. So, <laughs> that's a fun game. And then... What, so when we were, oh, see, this is why I just keep on talking. Um, with the, being the, da, 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 do, 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 do. <laughs> being the, um, being gone for that period of time in the summer of 2019, when we, uh, my dad was just tired of it. I'm tired of chasing him and telling him, I'm going to leash him 24-7, which means it's obviously... If a dog on a leash, they're easier to catch because if you just stepped on the leash, then they just get it's obviously stop. Um, so he did end up wearing a leash twenty four seven for a long, 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 long time until he grew out of like, oh, I won't chase. I mean, he still plays the chase game now, but it's like even just to like, and like we still like. Most of the time, we leash Winston to go outside to go in the bathroom in my yard. He he learned the invisible fence every time, so he could run around. But he's the type of, like, you will put, like, Lucy out. She'll just go to the bathroom and do all that stuff and come back to the door and be let in. Where Winston will get distracted. Like, if, say, if he has to go out, he'll go out. And then he'll get distracted he'll, because he likes to chew on it, everything. He likes to chew on, like, socks, clothes, shoes, used to, socks, clothes, shoes, all that stuff. And then goes outside and, like, chews on, like, my mom's plants. 
on all my dude <laughs> who gets so distracted on whatever he wants to be doing, I guess. And then he won't go to the bathroom. Because <laughs> he'll get distracted with chewing something outside, digging outside. Lucy never dug. But I think though he's not digging it because he wants to. I think he's digging because it's like mold in our yard. Um but so that's why he's basically digging. But it's like you don't know if he went to the it's half the time you don't know if you he's not leashed up outside, even if it's just to go to the bathroom. You don't know if he went. I mean, obviously, you know he went because he's on leash. I think he's a better leash dog outside in some scenarios. But, yeah. Did I miss anything? Oh, so Winston is. Okay, so Winston's inside. And we, as we, right below this room is our sliding glass door. And we have a, what do you call it? Not the sliding glass door, but the... What is it called? Screen door is closed. So he see, hears the dog barking outside and then he's barking downstairs. Um, and then also we grew up with Lucy not barking at the doorbell or anything. I mean, she'll be excited when you open the door and someone's there. But Winston reacts to everything knocks like if you just knock on the side table or something, or the wall or something, I'll react at that. 